there is a garbage truck outside. What was you guys do? <laughs> okay, let's let's wait. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I hope that you're having a super awesome day. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I get asked kind of often and that is whether or not I feel restricted on a vegan diet. I get asked all the time, what do you eat as a vegan? And I mean, my initial instinct is, I mean, what do you eat? But it, I get where people are coming from. I mean, I got asked once if I can eat rice. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know why someone would think that a vegan wouldn't eat rice, but it's just a lack of knowledge. And, well, I'm here to give you guys some if you don't have um, any kind of insight on what veganism is. And basically, it means I don't eat any animal products or byproducts. So no milk, no cheese, no um, eggs, and nothing that is made with those things in it or anything derived from an animal. So something like casein, which is um, a milk protein, is often used in things and it gives it like that, like a, like a, like a kind of like a cheesy texture, if that makes any sense. Like a lot of like um, lactose free cheese will also have casein in it, so it's not vegan. But um, that's just an example. <laughs> but um, so basically, I eat anything that isn't from an animal, so rice, fruits, vegetables, um, and things that are kind of naturally vegan. For example, an Oreo is vegan. If you guys have seen my What I Eat in a Day videos, and you know I eat Oreos like it's my second job. It should be and um, I mean there's plenty of like vegan like junk food out there that is things that you wouldn't think that are vegan um, like I said Oreos um, Skittles are vegan now like that's just like this is like junky food like 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 snacks you might want to have and there is a garbage truck outside should we wait I mean what would you guys do <laughs> Okay. All right, so the garbage truck left. Thank the universe. Okay, so as I was saying, oh my god, what was I saying? Oh, there's plenty of, <laughs> there's plenty of vegan foods out there that people naturally buy, like Cliff Bars. Cliff Bars are vegan, except like a certain like two that aren't, I think they're like the mini ones, but there, there's a website called Accidentally Vegan and it has a whole bunch of lists of like commercially made foods that aren't like deemed, like that are made for vegans, but they're vegan. So um, I'll leave the link down below and I love checking out that website because sometimes I'm out and about and like I just need a snack and I don't really want to look through all the ingredients and there's certain things that I still don't know if they're vegan or not. Like, like there's so many chemical names for things that I just, I can't. So going on that website helps me um, just quickly per, like go through it and make sure that what I'm going to purchase is vegan. Um, but back to the main question, do I feel restricted on a vegan diet? A little backstory, before I went vegan, I was vegetarian for about a year and some change and um, I always knew that I was eventually going to become vegan because I am vegan for a moral reason and I'm gonna do a video soon I promise on my vegan story but um, I, I'm mainly vegan for ethical reasons and so it just felt wrong to keep being a part of this process even though I wasn't eating meat I was still eating eggs and still eating byproducts so I was still buying into the system so I just it, I wasn't aligning my morals with my actions and it was just not sitting well with me but the main reason why I wasn't fully vegan, like automatically, was because A, I was scared of being mal um, malnourished at my school because there are vegetarian options, but a vegan option that I like will eat because I don't like certain things, like I don't like broccoli and certain foods. So I was kind of very limited. So I felt I was going to be malnourished at school. Um, I thought I wouldn't be able to go out with people because like sometimes I would eat cheese and I'm lactose intolerant but it was like well oh, that's the only vegetarian option there let's eat it um uh, there's just like little little roadblocks that like kept me from it but I think my main fear was feeling restricted and feeling like I couldn't just go and eat something and I already kind of thought that way being vegetarian not 
not in a bad way, but just like the fact is that when you go out to like Applebee's, there's not much out there for me or you if you're vegetarian or vegan. Um, but um, I learned through trial and error that just asking and um, asking when you go out is a big help um, in getting something made for you. Um, a lot of restaurants are accommodating unless they're like a chain where their food's like pre-made, in which case you shouldn't be eating there anyway. But um, a lot of people are accommodating for you, so don't don't fear that at all. Let me just put that out there. But um, it, it really helped once I became vegan to just feel good and feel like every day I'm making a change. So once I got those little roadblocks out of the way, mainly the restricted one, I realized that I'm really not restricted at all. I was already cutting out dairy for the most part. And there's a vegan substitute for everything. So if I wanted to get ice cream, like yeah, I can't just go to Carvel, but Ben and Jerry's has vegan ice cream that you can buy by the pint. And sometimes they have them in the scoop shop. Um, uh, cashew milk ice cream is like my favorite. It's amazing. It might as well be ice cream. Like everyone just scratch all the freaking milk ones and just buy cashew milk, please, because it's better and amazing and so rich. And, oh. um, cookies. Cookies, um, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm just talking about desserts, but like that's mainly what I was concerned about. So like cookies, um, you can buy them at Whole Foods. Or um, if you go into like a local shop, they usually have like the Larry, I'll leave it down below what the name is, but it's like Larry and something, and they're vegan, and they have protein in it, and it's so good, it's so good, I can't, but I mean, at the end of the day, like, um, I think that like you're not going to feel restricted if you're vegan for a moral cause, um, because like that, that kind of trumps everything else. Um, at least, at least for me it does. So if, for example, I went to a suite, um, at the suite I ate dinner beforehand because I wasn't sure if there was going to be options for me. And I know that that may seem antisocial, but I'm still going to the event. I'm just choosing to eat beforehand. Or you can pack a snack. And I know that it feels weird because I feel weird packing snacks and food for myself. But it's better safe than sorry. And at least you're still going out with people. And having friends that support your lifestyle is a big, big, big help. Um, I can't tell you the number of times I've gone out with people and they're like not down with like being open to new cuisine and like, I don't know, it, it gets hard to eat out with those people, but, but when I ate with friends that were more open and had a wider range of a palate um, or was willing to eat vegan food, um, it it works out. It works out. Um, so I think having a friend that supports or just, you know, bringing snacks, that's a big help. But um, at the end of the day, I don't feel restricted personally. Um, does it get a little hard to eat out sometimes? Sometimes. But I tend to choose places that I know I can eat at. So I'll go, I'll pick a Thai restaurant. I'll pick a Chinese restaurant. I'll pick Indian food. Like, there's so many um, ethnic foods that, like, tend to be more vegan friendly because in their culture they don't eat as much meat as like Americans do, go figure, um, it, it gets easier. So I think just knowing what like what groups of foods you like to eat, so for example you can't go wrong with rice, beans, avocado with me, uh, tofu and rice, like there's certain combinations you that will work for you that you know you can eat anywhere or really get anywhere. Um, and at the end of the day, salad, side salad, it's not going to kill you. It's not the most amazing thing on the menu, but, yeah, it's food. For me personally, there is no question of me lapsing or being relaxed with the way I eat, but for someone else, if they're primarily eating vegan, primarily staying away from me, and on the occasion they have something that has honey in it, I'm not going to persecute them. So, I mean, learn what works for you. Um, I'm not saying to not be vegan, I'm not saying to be a Nazi vegan in a sense where it's like if 0.0001% of something has, I don't know, a bug in it, like I'm not saying to go nuts and like make sure everything is perfect, pure, and clean because in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's hard, especially when you go out to eat out, like you just have to trust that the people are being as kind and courteous as they can towards your lifestyle and choices. But um, 
yeah, I'm just saying that to know what works for you and know that um, it's hard to be 100% perfect, pure vegan unless you're making all of your food yourself and that's something that I learned is to just make things at home, make cookies at home, make things that I know that I'm touching, that I'm seeing, that I'm doing myself so I know that it's 100% vegan and clean and not filled with animal grease from another pan and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I I do. I feel good and clean and whole and I know it works for me and you'll find out what works for you on this lifestyle and diet. So I hope I answered this question um, and I hope I didn't ramble on too much. We'll see when I edit but <laughs> um, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love these little chit chats with you guys. I find that I end up rambling too much though so I'm going to learn how to cut it down. Cut but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means the world to me. I am so utterly grateful to have you guys here. I have made it past what I thought I would um, within the two months that I've been on YouTube. I'm at 62 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. You don't understand. Um, I've always wanted to be on YouTube, and here I am. And I just appreciate this little community that I'm building. So please leave comments down below with um, questions or I don't know what you ate yesterday. Tell me what you ate yesterday. I'd love to hear back from you guys. So um, I'll see you guys in my next one. And please subscribe if you want more videos like this. All right, guys. Bye.